Hi, Snail Movie here. Today I'll show you a horror film, Heruta Skelter. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. For the sake of looking hot, she went under the knife a thousand times, tearing through layers of bandages. Next thing you know, she's become the ultimate babe idol for all the ladies in Japan. Word has it, 99% of girls getting work done wanna be a Vivian copycat. With her drop-dead gorgeous looks, Vivian's got the world wrapped around her finger. And it's no wonder she started acting all high and mighty. During an interview for her new flick, she slyly edged out the newbie actress and made sure to hog the limelight. That kinda sneaky move is old news in showbiz and the press was playing along. But Vivian still wasn't satisfied. She got pissed and chucked the newspaper at her assistant. The poor assistant was too scared to even utter a word. Luckily, her rich AF boyfriend showed up just in time, and Vivian pounced on him like a wildcat, giving the assistant a chance to slip away. While they were busy getting all lovey-dovey, her boyfriend pouring his heart out. Vivian's eyes were darting around, showing there's some shady stuff going on behind the scenes. This cocky-ass female celeb turns into a total sweetheart when the producer's around, but the second he's gone, she puts on an icy cold face. She calls her agent, saying that all she needed to do is butter up the producer. She snags the lead role overnight. She's dead tired looking at herself in the mirror, being called the goddess of beauty and she smirks. Who needs acting skills when you're drop-dead gorgeous, am I right? But hold up a frolicking dark blotch pops up on her forehead. Her agent stays cool as a cucumber whips out a fancy-ass ruby and tells the makeup artist to cover that shit up real good. The next day, they casually stroll into some well-known hospital, like it's no big deal. But for some reason, Vivian's got this creepy-ass feeling. She's all restless and gets spooked by some chick. On the way to the surgery room, seeing those familiar scars on the woman's face, Vivian hesitates for a sec, but she can't resist her agent's pressure. Once she's knocked out, her agent tells the doc to pump her full of the strongest drugs. Side effects be damned. As long as Vivian stays smoking hot, that's all that matters. After getting all that plastic surgery done, Vivian came back to life like a damn phoenix. She was on fire, hustling non-stop with gigs, TV shows, and even scoring a spot on the big screen. The guy she was rumored to be dating went from a nobody to a freaking movie mogul, and Vivian herself was blowing up going viral and shit. But here's the kicker, under those bright lights, she was nothing but a puppet being controlled by her damn manager, hollow, messed up, and way over the top. But hey, even though she was dead tired behind the scenes, when she turned around, Vivian slapped on her fake-ass smile like a pro. On her way home, a wasted Vivian handed her assistant a tube of lipstick. Now, her assistant wasn't exactly the glamorous type, so she didn't get the self-deprecating humor behind Vivian's gesture. The assistant took Vivian back home, trying to comfort her and put on a happy face. Vivian's worst nightmare, those damn side effects from her plastic surgery, came back with a vengeance. She lost it, crying one minute and laughing like a maniac the next. But by that point, Vivian didn't have much of a choice. She had to get back on that damn operating table. The surgery was painful as hell. But somehow, listening to those damn doctor's voices made it a little more bearable. Her manager brought in a fresh face, a real natural beauty, and told Vivian to mentor her. That new girl slowly started replacing Vivian in front of the cameras. It was enough to push Vivian's already fragile state of mind over the edge. But then, in a freaking magazine, Vivian saw her boyfriend getting engaged to someone else. That set her off and she threatened her assistant to mess up the other woman's face. But you know damn well that secrets don't stay hidden forever. The damn cops found Vivian and uncovered her pre-surgery records. And when Vivian laid eyes on those documents, she spiraled right back into freaking despair. The plastic surgery stuff messed Vivian up big time. She took way too many meds and started losing control of her emotions, even seeing things that weren't there. At her own birthday party, she completely lost it. She went bats hit crazy during a live stream, making a total fool of herself by screaming like a maniac, and collapsing on the damn floor twitching and shit. When she finally woke up, she found herself in her own damn bed. Then she went into a furious rage and stormed out. It was pouring rain, and Vivian was desperate as fuck, wishing she could go back to when she was hot as hell. But that wish was a damn joke. She touched her hair, which was falling out like crazy, and felt like a total damn failure. And then her assistant found a damn folder that Vivian had thrown away, filled with ugly ass pictures. From before she got all that plastic surgery, that was the 
the final straw for her assistant, who lost all respect for Vivian, and anonymously sent that shit to the damn newspapers. The next day, Vivian was all over the headlines. The whole damn world was laughing their asses off, mocking her for her messed up surgery and her stupid ass behavior. Later, Vivian went into hiding and vanished from the spotlight. In a strange tavern, she sat at the center, exuding an eerie and enchanting presence. Perspective of Snail Movie This movie teaches us several important life lessons. The pursuit of authenticity, self-acceptance and confidence, breaking free from external expectations, and finding a harmonious balance between our inner and outer selves. It reminds us to stay true to ourselves, not be swayed by vanity, accept our past and imperfections, and seek inner balance and genuine happiness. Only by pursuing inner truth and confidence can we liberate ourselves from external constraints, establish our own way of life, and find true happiness and freedom that are unique to ourselves. Thank you.